What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here and we are back with another video. I've done that intro so many times now I don't even know what to do. I just feel like I have to like keep looking around or do something weird so it doesn't get over you guys. In today's video, we're gonna go catch some invertebrates for these guys right here. Especially for the man himself, Spike, but I know Simba would love to get in on the action and who knows, Bolt or Pennywise might like to get some as well. But this tank, will be fed today. We're gonna head over to a mangrove spot that I know has lots of crabs and we're gonna see if we can load up and feed these bad boys. But first, we need to hold a meeting here so everyone gets your suit and tie on, button up real tight, because we need to figure out what we're doing here. Now you guys are up here really high because it's about this area right here. This stand is made for a 55 gallon tank. And as of right now, all we have is Casper, our albino axolotl on here. We still have room for one more 10 gallon, but I'm kind of feeling the urge to start growing some fish out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to start getting some rare super rare albino fish, freshwater fish, and uh, growing them out for the 125 downstairs. We're gonna make some changes here around. We always like to keep things on our toes, but let me know if you guys think if we should get rid of the 10 gallon tank and put another 55 gallon tank there, because honestly, I think it might be a better idea, better content for you guys, cooler fish, more aggressive fish. I think it'll be really awesome. So that's it for the meeting. You guys can all get up, meeting adjourned. Now, let's head to the mangroves. Oh, baby, is it freaking beautiful out right now. Windows down, South Florida. We're breaking records. It's the coldest it has been here in over 10 years, y'all. Let that sink in. The Florida boy is cold, but you know what? It is freaking beautiful out. I'm enjoying it. If it only is here for about a day, we're great. But anything more than three days, we're not too freaking happy. All right, we gotta focus here because we gotta catch some freaking invertebrates. We have arrived at the location, y'all. Take a look. Bunch of mangroves right here. This is a great place for things like fiddler crabs and any other sort of crabs to seek shelter. We got the water right here and all these mangroves. Literally underneath all this stuff can be crabs, y'all. Underneath all of it. Now I seriously do need to be careful because I kid you not, in this canal right here, there has been sightings of alligators, crocodiles, they get through the spillways and then they get stuck inside here. And you know what, there's been alligators here. So we actually do need to keep our eyes peeled. It's been quite a bit, but you know what? You still need to be careful. Take a look at that little baby barracuda. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys can see a little baby barracuda right there swimming along the shores there. That's just one of many predators that are around here. So let's keep our eyes peeled to keep ourselves safe and so we can get some invertebrates here. Let's start looking. Our main target's gonna be fiddler crabs and we got a lot of spots to check around here. They're gonna seek shelter underneath bushes, fallen tree branches like that, or sometimes they can even be in the water. So let's start looking. You gotta really think if you're a crab, where are you gonna hide? You're gonna hide under stuff like this. You're gonna stay away from birds, you're gonna stay away from fish, raccoons, all that stuff. All that stuff is out to get you, so let's keep a sharp eye out underneath all this stuff. Even spots like these holes right here, the crabs will go inside when they're frightened and then they'll come out eventually, go back into the water or whatever they might wanna do. Let's see if we can find one. Ugh, let's grab our bucket here because you know what? If we do find one, we don't wanna get pinched all day long by them, so let's grab it. Oh, look at the relief in there, very nice. Let's get our bucket and let's bring it down here. My God, this place is dangerous. Guys, we found our first crab of the day right here. Take a look at this little guy. This, I believe, is some sort of water crab that must have came up from the water there and came to land. He feels pretty cold because we have a cold front here. I'm not even too sure if he is alive. Is he? Buddy, are you okay? We're gonna add you to the bucket and we'll see if you're alive. But that's one of hopefully many that we can catch. All right. Let's go find some more. Let's go see if there's any a little bit further back here inside the shade, y'all. Let's go look. We gotta get low. We gotta get low. Any crocs back here? Any crocs? I don't see any. I don't see any crocs. Look at this guy trying to get away. Ooh, a little too slow, buddy. Found another one, guys. This is like hide and seek. Oh, they dropped him. Found him. All right, this is like hide and seek. This guy is definitely alive. So we'll put him in here with our other guy. Get in there, buddy. That's two, let's get this leaf out of here. So we got two now, and we're hopefully gonna get a lot more, but there's two. I'm still curious if this guy, is he alive or is he a little cold? He might just be a little cold. Oh, wait, wait, I think he is alive. He might just be playing dead. Okay, there's two. Okay, I continue to look. We only found two in this area, but there's more cutouts just like this one all around this area. So we're gonna go to a different one. We got two. Let's go see if we can find some more. Let's go. All right, I found another one here. Let's go see if this is a pretty good spot. I usually come here to catch mullet and all sorts of bait fish before I go fishing, so we got another big spot right here, but we're gonna go check out. 
Sometimes I've even found them like up in the trees and they're like big crabs, they're not little, they're like big. So let's see if we can find some more over here. This is definitely a bigger area. We got all this bank to cover here. Mangroves down here, let's go look. Cause sometimes if you walk quickly, you'll see them spook inside of a hole and then you can, you're able to get them a lot quicker that way. Oh, look at this fake fish guy right here. Somebody's drinking an ass Budweiser. My God, that's an old Budweiser can. This thing has probably been here for ages. It's a really cool can, but we're gonna take this home with us and dispose of it. Put you inside here with my crabs. Let's go check up near the water. Sometimes you can find them inside the water, especially when it's cold like this. They probably wanna be in the water because the water is definitely a little bit more warmer than it is outside, so let's see. Oh, here we got one. We got one right here. This guy alive? Yeah, look, look. Look at this guy. You alive? Oh yeah, you're alive. Come here, buddy. Oh my God, look at the size of this freaking tiny one. Can you see that little guy? I don't know if you guys can see that tiny little one moving right there on the fingertip. Look at that little guy. That guy's a little too small. We're gonna leave him, but we're gonna take this guy home with us. Perfect. We're up to three, baby. All right, let's get him inside the bucket. Oh, big tree. Oh, that's a big tree. Okay. Three and a Budweiser can, baby. We're cleaning the ocean and we're finding crabs. Really quick before this video goes on any further, I wanna let you guys all know that the Big Fish Energy hats are back on the site, fishguy.shop and some fish guy hats as well. So if you wanna get your hands on them, these sold out super quick last time. It's a good way to help support the channel and uh, these hats are freaking awesome. I wear them every day, I wear them to class, I wear them all around town, baby. And we're up to three crabs. Let's see if we can find a lot more, baby. Okay, off to the next spot, three. Let's go find another cutout that we can find some crabs in. As you guys can see, here's the water over there. You gotta just be adventurous, y'all. You gotta go find it. You gotta go get after and find them. All right, let's get inside here. Let's go look underneath that big leaf. See this leaf? They think they're safe, but they're not safe from Fish Guy Jack. Okay, anything? Nope. Nothing underneath that one. Okay guys, I've been looking for about another 20 minutes. I could not find another crab, but we do have three of them, which is better than none. Let's take these crabs, let's head home and show Spike what we got for him. We got a nice little treat for him. Crabs are so good to feed to your fish, especially when they're alive, baby. You know, they're as fresh as they can get. Back home now, y'all. Now let's get this Budweiser can where it deserves to be. Not in our damn ocean, but in the damn recycling. Okay, we got our three crabs right there and we have some hungry fish. Now I wanna try to hand feed Simba. I believe he will hand feed for us. So let's see if we'll get that done. But first we gotta give one to, you guys know who, Spike. <sighs> You'll go first. Are you ready, buddy? You want this nice looking crab? Huh? You want it? Yeah, look at him. Look at him, he sees it. I know he sees it. You see it, you want it. All right, here you go, you can have it. Oh my God, didn't even get halfway down. I literally dropped it in and he just crushed it. Look at that crab, y'all. He is, whoa, well, I guess there's really not much of a crab left. Oh, Simba's pissed. Simba is pissed now. Oh my God. What'd you think of that, Spike? You enjoyed it, didn't you? You enjoyed that, didn't you? Let's get another crab here. All right. These things are so darn cold, you guys. I think this cold weather seriously just put these things into shock because look, these things are like, I'm like touching them and playing with them. He's not even doing anything. All right, let's drop another one in here. Spike, please let this thing get by you. Please let this thing get by you, Spike. Spike, no. Spike, okay, drop it, drop it now. No! What is your problem? You're destroying them. I mean, I figured you would, but I'm trying to get some to the Simba. Oh, look at the eel. The eel thinks he might get some. Look at the eel. Oh my God. Guys, I love feeding this tank. This tank is literally so fun to feed. They go crazy. All right, Spike, stop eating so much and let Simba get one. Before we drop in the last and final crab, take a look at these hats, y'all. Both of these are up on the site right now. The fish guy in blue, that hat looks amazing, and the red, white, and blue. Big Fish Energy hat is live on the site. First link in the description, go get yourself one. Trust me, these hats are freaking awesome. Oh, come here, buddy. Yeah, okay. Simba, Simba, we're gonna try to hand feed you, buddy. So come over here. All right, I got a little bit of the tank opened up, so I'm gonna put just, a, whoa, he was gonna eat it. He was gonna eat it, but Spike's too quick. He was gonna eat it. Spike, this is not for you. This is for our lionfish. This is for our lionfish. This is for our lionfish. Ah! I think he got it, no, he's about to get it. He's about to get it. No, he literally was gonna eat it. Spike was literally gonna eat, oh my God, look at this. The clown trigger's trying to get some out of Spike's mouth. Ha! Oh, that's freaking awesome, look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's getting the legs. Atta boy, Pennywise, atta boy. Guys, we literally almost had it, but I was scared that I would maybe get spiked by those insane spikes on top of that fish, and I'd have to go to the hospital on this wonderful day, and that would not be good. I really wish we had found more, but three is better than none, like I said. Now, you guys, this tank behind me has some serious revamping that needs to happen. I mean, the tank is practically almost destroyed. Everything's fine, but there's just some big changes that have to happen. I just want to give you guys an update, because that video is 
coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Nobody needs to panic, nobody needs to worry, but there will be some big changes coming. It's that time of the video where we do some Instagram shout outs, some Discord shout outs, and some YouTube shout outs, and we're gonna start with the YouTube, you guys, because I'm excited for it. Here we go from YouTube. Now these are some special shout outs because I was just live yesterday and these people all donated to me to help me make these videos for you guys. So here we go. Shout out to Tanya Peverly. Shout out to Vamp Diva. Shout out to Alexis Taylor and shout out to Karen Bab. Also shout out to Fuzzy Wuzzy, Carrie Rojas, Ryan Kennedy, and Daniel Rab. You guys are freaking awesome. I really do appreciate you guys. Just a way for me to show you my thanks for helping me make these videos. Now from Instagram, Instagram shout out to Alex loves tacos. I love tacos too, Alex, trust me. Mexican food is my favorite food and I'm a full blown Italian, but you know what? I love my Mexican food. It is so good, you can't beat tacos. Now last but not least, the people in Discord, I love you guys and here we go. Shout out to Joyful. I love each and every single one of you guys. Everybody who watches my videos, likes, comments, subscribes, you guys are changing my life. I love each and every single one of you. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.